Currently, there's a car in a really bad spot. I guess it broke down something with the axle or something like that. Not too sure. Let's take a look and see what we see. It's in a pretty bad location, but give you guys some footage of what happens on a regular basis in the city. So it looks like Looks like she lost a tight rod or something like that. Not sure if it's a tight rod or if it's the axle itself, but it's kind of in a tough situation there. Yeah, it's probably a tight rod. Let me see if I get a better angle of it. Sometimes your tight rod does um, give way on you. If it's not greased up properly, can't tell from here, but take a quick look. It could be a tight rod. Can't really see it. Charlie 14 with Ocean Overland. Good morning. There is something hanging down, but I can't tell what, exactly what it is. Looks like the upper control arm. Then again, it could be the could be the ball joint. It's like the ball joint. Looks, looks like the lower ball joint, believe it or not. And then you see that that happens when um, they get wear and tear. So it, well, at least once a year, you have your front end checked. Uh, for alignment and there's like depending on what kind of car it is there's grease fittings on those uh, those um, pitman and Isla arms and control control arms some have fittings on the ball joints as well so um, a good alignment technician would know um, different cars have different fittings so they are different you should go look for them It is, it is a kind of tough area because this Quincy Street is a, a pretty busy street. People use it as a cut through from from Dorchester, from Roxbury all the way to Dorchester. So this is a pretty, pretty tough, um, a pretty tough, tough area for traffic. It's, it's not that busy today, but it's just a lot of traffic. How you doing? This little dip on the road didn't help her car at all either. Um, the city's been putting these at intersections, these little like humps. And what they do is, um, if you hit that hump at a certain angle, it does just kind of rock your car pretty good. It's almost like a, a, a speed hump right at the crosswalk. And they've been putting them on um, throughout this whole intersection all the way down. They put those little um, humps right on the crosswalks. And a lot of cars, they, they come to a full stop before they go over them. So that, that hump did not help her car at all either. What I'll see and where that mounts to, it looks like it's the lower ball joint on there. I don't know if the camera's going to give any justice to that, but it looks like the... Um, 
so I can give you a, a real good focus. Mechanic's probably gonna charge you like a hundred and fifty to two hundred dollars to fix that. Depends on the mechanic as well and and which part they use. The good thing is, she's right next to an auto mechanic. Well, I don't know if they do. Um, I don't know if they do um, front ends though. They do muffler, brakes, tune up, oil change. Um, but if they do that, they should do a ball joint. They should. Well, it all depends on the mechanic they have there. If, if they do mufflers, uh, brakes, tune-ups, oil change. Some of them just do the basic. But if they do mufflers, they're probably in the area of doing um, small mechanical work. Well, at least they have the tools to do it anyway. That is a pretty tough area. Uh, that's a um, that's a tough, tough. And she's gonna get on direct traffic because that is a tough, um, a tough spot. Believe it or not, there's a lot of um, accidents that happen on this road. A lot of people don't follow the speed limit, too. This speed limit is supposed to be only 25 miles an hour, but every so often, more often than not, you see cars going faster than the um, speed limit. Quincy and Magnolia. Those of you who don't know where that's at, that's um, well, Quincy's that street that runs from um, from Hancock all the way down to no, it's not Hancock, from Bolden all the way down to um, I believe it's Humble. Well, maybe it stops at Warren and then switches over to towns at Humboldt, one or the other, but it runs all the way down there.
Triple A has arrived. That's a good thing. Quick response for Triple A. Matter of fact, he got two Triple A trucks. That's even better. More likely the flatbed may take it, but we'll see. I guess not the flatbed. Looks like he kept going. Actually, AAA had a pretty good response. Well, it's a pretty fast response for AAA. Like he parked the truck further down to come help him out, which is a good thing. I'm not too sure how far he parked down there. Oh, he's across the street. That's not too far. the lower ball joint that's a that's a pretty easy um, you know it's not too difficult to, to fix He's 
telling her to do both. A lot of mechanics do recommend that you do both. Sometimes you don't need both done, but it depends on how much movement, and how much play you have, and how much, um, how dry they are. So, it, it, you know, you don't have to get both done, but if you're not too sure about cars, it can't hurt to get both done. Just added um, safety. But if they have a grease fit, and it should be at least grease once a year. I like that little jig they made for the um, for the missing tire. Pretty cool. I seen other ones that had like a little a little cradle on them. It all depends on how you make them or what you're trying to achieve. But the good thing is that it happened at low speed. Um, if this happens at high speed, 
Wow, it could be very, very, very dangerous. So the, the blessing is that it happened like on a city road rather than her being on the highway. So that's a blessing in disguise. Because not only, you, you'll cause a lot more damage to your vehicle at high speed too. What's up, man? How you doing? All right? <laughs> what you been up to? I thought I was hearing things at first. Right, you got plenty of space if you're turning, if you know how to drive. Too late now, you just missed the turn. That's the most important thing when you tow a vehicle is, is to tie down on um, both wheels. I see a lot of tow truck drivers, they just tie down one wheel. Uh, one thing about AAA, like, most, for the most part, they tie down, like, even on a flatbed, they tie down all four tires. And they tie down on um, both wheels. If you look at other tow truck drivers, sometimes they won't, like, trespass tows. Like when they do the um, the quick wheel lift, they won't even tie down any um, wheels. They yank it, drag it around the corner, then tie the wheels down. Or they might just take it all over to the shop with no wheels tied down. But the, the correct way is to tie down both wheels to the um, to, to the um, to the lift. And the reason why AAA do it because they have a lot of. Um, a li li liability insurance that you know if they mess up then it's on them so they gotta cover themselves you know they're supposed to cover themselves anyway and for most part most AAA drivers that I see they do tow the cars the, the correct way If you get that ball joint fixed by the afternoon, be good to go. Might as well check the whole front end while, you're, while they're up there. And once you change the ball joint, you're supposed to get an alignment on the vehicle as well. So, that might be an opportunity for her to get the brakes and everything else checked at the same time. Not, not bad. Another exciting day in the city. That looks like um, I guess that's part of the um, the grease and the assembly of the ball joint that came off. A couple of plastic grommets. But other than that, nothing, nothing major. All right, guys. Until next time. I'll be sure to catch you on the next next video. Nas Porter.